with Tom Arnold, and as someone who has always had his jokes written for him, does this strike really affect you? First of all, I haven't always had my jokes written for me, but uh, no, it affects me because, yeah, yeah, I came here in 1988 to be a writer on Roseanne. The first day I got here, there was a strike. Um, I see the effect it has on, you know, my friends at Fox. Uh, now, this could eventually have an effect on the wardrobe gals who I love, and the makeup gals, and uh, and the people I really care about. The television is all about writing. You don't have good writers, you don't have good television. Was it important to you to be out here with everybody? Oh yeah, yeah, because I am the Guild. That's uh, that's why I, I made. Uh, I've I've been I've had a lot of luck with the Guild. I mean, I mean several Guilds, but uh, if one for writers, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger would never be able to say I'll be back because he never wrote that. You know, Jim Jim Cameron wrote that. All right, Jim. What are your names? Uh, Greg Plegeman. Scott Lou. Uh, I work on the show Cold Case presently. I'm a writer producer. Then I work on the show The Dead Zone and um, all to do features. Is there one message you want to get out to the people, like maybe Middle America, people outside of LA that might not know exactly what's going on? Yeah, I'll just say that uh, there's this brand new thing that's not brand new anymore called the internet. And all the writers want is that when their work is on the internet, if they be compensated fairly for it. And the studios are making money by selling advertising and charging for downloads, and writers don't see any of that. And if you think we're rich, we're not. There's a lot of rank and file people out here. That if we uh, we have to draw a line in the sand on this issue, because if we don't, it's it's not going to be a business worth being in anymore. We're not asking for huge amounts of money. We're just asking for something that's fair. And that's really where we're at. Uh, do I have to do this the entire time? No, I'm waiting for you. That's going to look so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> All right, so let me know exactly in your own words what this strike is all about. Internet. You want the rights to residuals and whatnot. Yes, if we were to, if the writers were to take a deal that didn't account for the internet, we would literally be the dumbest people alive. What you're hearing is that writers are millionaires. Not true. Most of the people in the Writers Guild are middle class people uh, with families. Um, and we don't want to be on strike. We want to be at work. No one here wants to be on strike. Everyone wants it to be over. And all that would take is a little bit of sensible negotiating and them coming to the table with us. I was New Estrada for a little while, and then, and then I, didn't, I, I blew it at the dance audition. You didn't have the legs for it. Well, it was weird. They liked the legs, but I didn't have the jazz hands, which sparkle all the way to the tips. Who we got in, in front of us here? This is Elliot. He's, uh, he's 15, and uh, he's, he's moving and still with us because I have to take him to the vet a lot, and it's quite pricey, and his, my residuals help pay for that. Now, a lot of people might not realize that, that the dogs and animals are affected. The fact of the matter is, most of us are middle class people, and when we do make a lot of money, we have to stretch it out over long, scary periods of unemployment.